Welcome to the KX Country Clubhouse. It's Kat from the new KX in 94.7. And today I am joined by a very special guest. It is the one and only Jojo Mason. Jojo, my darling, how are you? <laughs> you know what? It, it's been a minute since I've seen you. Almost, I would, I would even go as far as to say it's been too long. It has, it has. I've definitely missed you, uh, but we don't have to miss your music. Happy release day. It's Tell me about... Day chemical and everything that has gone into this project well you know what this one has been this one has been a, a, a while in the making i've found this song a long time ago and uh, uh of course written by uh written by my my brother mitchell tampani and, and some of his fellow uh fellow co-writers um but the guy's an absolute genius and and one thing that i really really wanted to do um, this summer, especially this summer, is is release something and put something out that is strictly good vibes. There's been so much BS going on in the world right now that it's just so heavy on everybody's hearts and on their minds and on their, uh, you know, feel that some of a lot of people like myself, I feel I feel the weight of it on my shoulders. So one thing I wanted to do um, is just put out something that just feels good, you know, and that's what it does. That's what this song does to me. So I'm really. I'm really happy about it. I'm I'm excited. I think it's I think it's fun. Summertime jam, you know. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. And when you're talking about, you know, some of the heaviness that's gone on in the world, you've been such a great advocate for everyone. Uh, you know, keeping busy during a project called Mental Health Mondays. Now, uh, it's where you brought together uh, music, uh, industry people, friends, fans, family, um, to talk about the importance of mental health. And I was curious, had you not gone into music, do you think that that's the career path you would have taken and gone into mental health or public speaking or motivational speaking, something like that? Because you are, you truly have a gift. Well, first of all, thank you. That's super sweet of you to say. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I never, you know, when I started this this endeavor in music, I, I never thought of a backup plan. So um, I have no I have no idea what I would be doing. One thing I did know, and I've always known, um, and something my mama always, you know, put in the in in my mind, made sure I remembered that um, to have a purpose and, and and to do something that means something. So. And one of the things that I love to do is 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 help people and talk to people, find out their stories and get you know get get their insights. And and I've been through I've been through a lot of stuff myself. So if I can provide some advice, obviously I'm not a professional, but if I can provide some advice and or even a shoulder or even just an ear to bend, that's one of the things that I absolutely love to do. I love to help take weight off people's shoulders and 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 you know whether it means bearing it myself, I'm totally fine with it. And and yeah, that's, that's for me, for me, mental health has been a real struggle. Um, this business is, is not an easy one, as you know. Um, but it's really, really rewarding. And I, I get to be able to have this platform that I can do um, stuff like mental health Mondays. And it's been a minute since I've done, since, since we've done a mental health Monday, but don't you worry, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to hear that because they have been uh, truly a joy to watch. And you really have been an open book. You have been so honest and so transparent when it comes to uh, your own mental health struggle and everything that's going on in your life. And you've been a really open book too when it comes to Black Lives Matter. You've been such a champion and you have really brought this message to a platform where I think not a lot of people were as aware as we should have been. Um, and you've been having some really beautiful and inspiring conversations online with friends, fans, fellow artists. Having seen what you've seen over the past few months, are you hopeful for the future? Uh, there's nothing but hope. I mean, I guess the way, the way that I should put it is, is, is Will Smith said it best. It's not, ra real, real racism is not, um, it's, it's not new, it's just being filmed. And now that we are all, you know, seeing the, the how extreme and how real it is, we're all in real time right now. Yeah, in real time, we're watching the shift, right? We're watching the mental shift of 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 millions of uh, person. I think millions of people um, understanding and and understanding things that are right and things that are wrong that normally normally used to be okay, and, and the stereotypes that are now no longer acceptable. Um, the voice people feel like they can have now, 
um, to stand up and, and not feel awkward when they do see a social injustice and want to say something. Or, you know, there, a lot of people aren't going to feel super awkward and stand back and say, no, no, I can't, I can't get involved. Now people are getting involved. People are sticking up for the right thing. And, and, and again, I always say it's not going to change overnight. It can't change overnight because if you can't, you can't change, you know, hundreds of years of oppression um, for one group or another group or ever, you know, you can't, you can't change that overnight, but we are part of the change. We get to see the beginning of it. And, and God, it, it's only, honestly, it's only up from here. I think I'm, I, I'm just trying to, st you know, me, you know how I'm trying to look at the positives and the silver linings about <laughs> everything, you know. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That is one of your strong suits for sure. And I love that positivity and love your passion uh, and hope for the future. And speaking of the future, uh, your family has been growing like crazy. You ha now have mayonnaise and Jupiter, two of your little fur babies, and <laughs> the fiance Chanel. Uh, do you guys have wedding plans figured out for in the future? Uh, you know what? The 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 longer we wait, the more I wanna, the more I'm I'm getting eager. Um, with the with the whole COVID thing, um, it's been it's been tough to to really justify spending a bunch of money on a, on a wedding right now. When hey, we, the reason we got engaged and it was just for the for me anyways was right right away was just the commitment. I wanted to show her that she was my my one, she was my only, and 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 so we're in no rush. So do we have plans? No. Not yet, but is it going to happen? And when it does happen, is it going to be dope as hell? Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt. Jojo, they say that when uh, you meet people, you might not remember what they say to you, uh, but you'll always remember how they make you feel. And I think that is absolutely true of you. You are one of those people that just lights up a room and brings so much happiness and positivity with you. It has been so much fun hanging out with you today. Thank you for your friendship and your time. Congrats on the release of Chemical. Wishing you all the world of success with this new song.